oxygen plant. This is the main part is the compressor which is taking the air from the normal side, it's atmosphere air and it is compressed to a separator that is called <coughs> evaporator otherwise remove the wet particle humidity and it is going to the nest room, nest part. There it is, is a hot air, it will come to the cold air and it is coming to the air receiver. In that, we are the normal pressure is a 10 kg pressure. After that, <coughs> air receiver, again it is going to the absorber chamber. In that, we collect only the oxygen, all other impurities will thrown away. There is a filter inside that. After that, another second absorber is 80 percentage correct, other purified oxygen will come to that. Further, it again purified to 100 percent, then it will put a reserve vessel. After that, finally, it is going to the storage tank. In that tank, 1000 LPM capacity we can draw in minute. That means I, around 5500 beds we can supply through the oxygen. Out of that, 25 to 30 percent. ICU patient or otherwise oxygen support patient we can manage with the, this plan. In between, there is a total control when the pressure is coming to 10 kg, it is automatically cut off the 1 by 1 by. So, that when it is a lesser usage, we can save the energy, we can save the other atmosphere system. Only that we have to monitor the system very closely to avoid all other economical systems. Otherwise, in case any problem is coming, we can take the oxygen from the other cylinder which we were using previously, so that the automatically shut down, shut off valve is there to take him from the normal our oxygen bay. In that, we are already connected 40, uh, 30 cylinder at a time and another 10 cylinder as a reserve. And we would want to be partner with us so that we can move together. All of us are working on a honorary basis. So, like that, we will make it grow further and serve the community because these three districts, Malapuram, Palakkad and Trishur, and we are in the Malapuram district, but bordering Palakkad and Trishur, which has huge number of Vanavasi population as well as fisherman community population. So, this is this hospital is into a size that around 40 kilometer radius, there is no hospital of this size. Uh, uh, second, second wave and uh, first wave was there was lots of panic. Uh, people were using oxygen left, right, and center. Now, definitely uh, audit, lots of oxygen audit has taken place under the uh, direction of the central government, and the protocols have been finalized. Now, most of the patients who had been put on oxygen probably didn't require oxygen at that time. Now, third wave we are definitely well off, and secondly, the Omicron, uh, with whatever data is available, uh, uh, the the Illness is not that serious as the delta variety, uh, so probably we may not require that type of oxygen. Anyway, with this uh, with this plant, uh, if he once we go for uh, you supply to other hospital with the necessary license and uh, equipment, we can probably supply the entire hospitals in Malapuram and Palkat and Trichu. The capacity is that much, and even if there is a, there is a small problem with this plant, we have adequate uh, backup with our uh, manifold system. We won't have any problem now. Actually, <clears throat> last time it was oxygen shortage. Now, third wave, the challenge is going to be the manpower. manpower. Because after the second wave, thousands of nurses went to Europe and America from, and Middle East from Kerala. Doctors and nurses. So, more than doctors, now nurses' scarcity is the most challenging task for us today. So, what we are planning to do, we have the medical college facility we are not using. We are going to start a nursing college there, yes. BSc nursing. So, with a batch of 60 students, four year means 280 students we have. And we can accommodate, you know, our, our brothers like uh, Varavasis or all those things on free and subsidized basis and empower them in the healthcare sector.